Hey everybody, it's Rosie, and I would like to welcome you to my kitchen. friends it's Rosie and in this video I'm going to make a buttery pie shell so all you need for this recipe is one and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour one fourth teaspoon of salt and one third cup of margarine or butter now throughout this recipe I will be using a fork to incorporate the butter into the flour um, if you have another handy kitchen utensil that you like to use feel free to use that our next step, we're going to add in five tablespoons of cold water. Once we do that, we're going to grab that fork or whatever kitchen utensil you decide to use and we're going to mix it again. Once your flour starts to resemble crumbs like this, you want to grab your chopping board and you want to lightly flour the chopping board. Now I use approximately two tablespoons. Now I'm going to pour out those flour crumbs and I'm going to use my hands so that I can form a ball. Once you have formed your ball, what you can do, you can saran wrap it or place it in a freezer bag and place it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. When you take it out of the refrigerator, place it back on the flour surface and then you're going to roll it out with your roll pin. I made sure I filed my roll pin as well just so that the dough would not stick to my roll pan so make sure you do that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray my non-sticking spray into my bake pan or you can use butter and I'm going to place my dough over that bake pan. As you see, I'm pressing it down so that it fits nicely and any excess that we have around the edges, we're just going to take a knife and cut that off. You do not need that. If you have another recipe that you can possibly make with that, fine, but if not, uh, just get rid of it. Now, what I'm going to do to just make it appear more attractive, I'm going to get a regular fork and I'm going to press down around the edges. You've probably seen me do this with uh, some store-bought crust and pie shells as well. This just makes it look a lot better. You know, you don't want an ugly pie. You don't want to ever serve something ugly to guests. So make sure it, the appearance is on point as well. Anything could taste good, but try to make it look good as well. And you know what, that is pretty much it. Now you are ready to make some pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, or even pecan pie. Whatever pie you decide to make during the holidays. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Please thumbs up this video if you want more recipes. And I will talk to you all soon.